everyone, it's Sheena with Dancing Daisy Designs and today we're going to be working on a cute side table with these awesome chunky legs. It's just screaming farmhouse. So I'm going to be doing a cool chippy finish with Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. Starting out by adding an undercoat to the table. This blonde wood, I really don't want to see that whenever the milk paint chips off. And so I'm going to paint it with this dark brown. It's called Weathered Wood by DIY Paint. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna give it a coat of this. And then I'm going to seal it before I put my milk paint on. One coat of Weathered Wood. And it's just drying up. And then I'm going to do some awesome milk paint. The table is all ready to go for the milk paint. I put a coat of the uh, weathered wood on it and then I sealed it so um, it'll be a nice underlayer for our milk paint when we get the chipping and the cracking that we want. And I've got my milk paint here and this is Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and the color Flower Sack and you can see the color right here. It's, uh, it's like a little bit of a... Um, not a pure white, a little flower sacky. <laughs> so what we're gonna do to mix up our milk paint, and this one, I think this is fun. I think it's fun to mix up the milk paint. So I've already pre-measured my water. So we're gonna do one part water and one part milk paint. And this is warm water. So I'm just gonna pour it into my container. And then I'm going to measure out my milk paint. And I've got this little scoop. So I'm gonna do one, two, and three scoops. And then what I'm gonna to use to mix it up with is called an immersion blender. And you can get these on Amazon for about, I don't know, like less than $15. But you don't have to use this. You can use a, a um, whisk or a fork or something like that is fine. Now we're just gonna mix it up. And you just wanna make sure that you get all the chunks out. After you mix it up really well, then you wanna let it sit for maybe like 10 minutes. Um, I've actually just painted with it before without letting it sit and it works fine but it thickens up just a little bit when you let it sit, so it's always a good idea to, to give that time. Milk paint's been sitting for about 10 minutes, and as you can see, it thickened up, and we're gonna get painting. Milk paint is self-leveling, so when you're painting it on, you don't really have to worry too much about getting um, brush strokes unless you put it on really thin. So that's a really cool thing about milk paint. It is all natural, no VOC, so you can use it in your house. And sorry about the fly. He doesn't want to go away. This paint actually has milk in it. So it's authentic, just like they used to use in the old days. So the fly probably <laughs> smells that. <laughs> but don't worry, it doesn't, it doesn't really smell like milk or anything like that. And after it dries, like it doesn't smell like anything at all. So <laughs> no problem there. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna get a coat on here and then I'm gonna show you a little trick to guarantee that you're gonna get some chipping and crackling. Okay, the first coat of Sweet Pickens Milk Paint is on right now, and it's not dry yet. And so I want to make sure that I get nice chipping and crackle on this piece. So one of the ways to guarantee that you're going to get that is to use a heat gun or a heat tool. And what you wanna do, this is gonna be a little loud, but you're just gonna turn it on and you're just gonna dry the area. And if it's working properly, then you should start to actually see crackle and chipping right before your eyes. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see up close and then I'll get started with that. This is what it looks like with one coat. We could get a little bit of chipping and you can see the crackle there. And here on the legs, you can see there's just a little bit of crackle and it definitely needs a second or second coat over there. So I'm gonna put a second coat on and let it dry. I let it dry overnight. And I did use the heat gun to make sure that I got a lot of chipping and cracking. It didn't seem like it was going to do much and so I made sure to um, go over it with the heat gun. I uh, want this to be extra chippy and crackly. And so I achieved that look, definitely. Milk paint will automatically do that on its own. In some cases, like I said, it's a little tricky. So you can't guarantee it. So I'm getting some of the chipping off, but I want more of it. So I'm going to wet distress it by using just a wet rag. And that's actually gonna reactivate the paint a little bit. And it's going to cause it to chip off even more in the areas we already have chipping. So I'm just going to go over it and do a little wet distress. And then after it has some time to dry, it should start to crackle a little bit more in the areas, especially where there's already crackle. I went over it with the wet rag like I was distressing it. And as you can see, it pulled up some more of the milk paint. So we're gonna get more chipping. So you can always do that. You can add a little bit of water um, with a wet rag, not dripping wet, just a damp rag, just like you were going to wet distress, and that will create more chipping. You want to make sure that you get all of your chips off before you seal, and this will continue to chip just a little bit um, over the next maybe like 12 hours, so I like to just give it like a, a sanding, um, distress it, however I'm going to do it, and then let it sit and then before I start with the sealer I'll just do it hit it one more time just to make sure that I got all the extra um, chips off usually I just use a um, just a dry rag for that I let my table sit for about an hour. I'm happy with the amount of chipping that I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and seal it. Um, I went ahead and I just wiped off some of the excess chipping that was happening, and um, I just wanna let you know something else is that you're not gonna be able to get every little teeny tiny chippy off of here. Um, and it is gonna feel a little rough to, your, to the touch. That's because the paint is peeled off in spots, and that's very authentic, and so, um, you just do your, do the best you can, get, a, get most of it off, and then whenever you seal it and you wipe it back from the sealer, you'll get a little bit more chips off, and that's okay, it's expected. I'm gonna be using Sweet Pickens Oil Wax to seal this piece, and this is the clear. Um, don't worry, I know it looks a little yellow in the bottle, but it does dry clear. And um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna apply it to the piece, and then you're gonna let it sit on there for about 10 minutes or so. Um, what it's doing is it's soaking into the wood and the paint, and it's gonna create like a really, really hard, good seal 
top coat for this. So if somebody puts something wet on here, it's not going to soak in and mess up your finish. So this creates a very nice hard finish and um, very good for anything that's chippy. So I'm going to put it on with a brush. I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to just wipe off the excess and then you're just going to leave it and let it dry. So the wax, the oil has to kind of dry on there. I like to use a chip brush to put the oil on because this is an oil based product and so it's not going to wash out of your brush just like the water based paint will with water. So I like to use a chip brush for this. That way I can um, use it a couple of times for oil wax and then I can toss it. So what do you think? I think it turned out amazing. I love the amount of chipping that I got. I think it's absolutely perfect. It actually chipped all the way back down through the brown layer that I put on down to the original finish in some spots and then only down to the brown in others, which I love because it gave it additional depth and it looks great. I really hope that all the information that I gave you in this video helps you to use Sweet Pickens Milk Paint to achieve the look that you're going for. If you like this video, please make sure to give me a big ol' thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I am trying to grow my channel and every single subscriber is very appreciated. So make sure to go down below and do all the things, hit the bell, and I'll link all of my web shops below and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Pickens Milk Paint to make a wonderful, 